Good day everyone. Jeff the Plumber from the Plumber Shark. I wasn't going to film or make a statement about this, but you know me, I shoot from the hip. So here you go. I was driving in my truck just now from South Watt, Elk Grove neighborhood. And uh, so I'm on Watt Avenue and I'm at a stoplight and this car pulls up next to me on my driver's side. Two old guys white hop out and give me something okay they're like hey you need this and i'm like okay and then the light changes and i drive away <laughs> all right are you ready can you see that can you see that <laughs> these two old white guys got out of their car on watt avenue to give me this this is crap Okay? Crap. Crap. Let me just tell you. Judging. Uh, here's where the conversation will start. In a second, you're going to see a little snippet of my truck, okay? Alright, so you saw that snippet. I got flags on my truck. I got a saying about 9-11, supporting my troops. Freedom not being free. But nowhere does it say who I chose. One side or the other. What it says is, I love my country. I love those who fight for my country. And I support them. I have two flags on my truck. One is a blue line flag because I support law enforcement. I don't know if you know this, but I'm a volunteer chaplain. I do it in the world, it says it on my shirt, but I also do it with the law enforcement, volunteering. So I really support those men and women because they're out there doing their job and because of one or two bad guys in the police field, we cannot penalize all policemen and women because of a couple of bad apples. Because we all know the saying, one bad apple doesn't spoil the whole bunch. It's just the way it is. So that's the first thing. The second flag I have on my truck has a 13 stars. The 13 stars because of the Constitution that started this country. How and how every day lately they're just taking our rules away and our laws away. And they're just taking them away and taking them away and taking them away. And why can't we go back to the beginning? Now I know the world has changed a little bit. And we're not in the same place as we were then. And things have been different. But those original rules were pretty good. And why are we trying to change them constantly and add more and take away? And So listen. So these two guys just hopped out of there car next to me on the light handed me this bumper sticker like I'm going to put it on my truck and I'm not because nowhere on my truck does it say who or how I voted because that's irrelevant the reason why I voted is because if you don't vote you can't complain but guess what I'm not going to complain in I don't know 45 more days from now when the guy on that bumper sticker is the president of the United States of America. I'm going to support him and I hope that he does something good because in my opinion, he hasn't done really much in 35 years. Why would he do anything now? But that's not the point. The point is, he's my president. Somehow, he got voted in to be the president of the United States and I'm going to support him because guess what? We need someone in charge of the rules of the United States, but to stop taking away our rights and our freedoms. You're, you're, you're killing us and you're making America split and that's why we're crazy and that's why two old white guys hopped out of their car just now to hand me that bumper sticker because they felt like their rights are taken away and that if Biden is their president, we're doomed. Guess what? We're not doomed. We weren't doomed when Trump was president. We weren't doomed when Obama was president. We weren't doomed when Clinton was having sexual relations with people in the Oval Office. We weren't doomed. We've never been doomed by what the president has done. Because if you're working class, 
you get up tomorrow and you go to work and you repeat and you repeat and you repeat and you repeat because that's what we do. The only way we'll be doomed is if all us middle class go on strike and stop working and then we won't be able to eat or buy things or because we're the ones who supply it so the rich can be rich and the poor can hopefully get a meal because we're trickling it down. Jeff the plumber from the plumber's truck. I hope I didn't put anyone off or say anything that, but I wanted you to know how I felt about Good job, Biden. You're my president. You know what I mean? I can't change that. I know one thing and one thing every day who my king is, and that's all that's important to me. Presidents, congressmen, social people, they will all be there. We need them. In the Bible, now I'm going to be off on a tangent on my own personal thing. In the Bible, a guy named Jesus said, Give to Caesar what's due to Caesar, and give to God what's due to God. It's the same thing. They might not be Caesar. They might be Biden, or Pelosi, or... I live in California, our Antichrist governor. But it doesn't matter. Get up tomorrow, put a smile on your face, say thank you, and go to work. This is Jeff the Plumber from the Plumber Trucks telling you, hey, have a peaceful day. I'm thinking about you. I love you all. Have a great one.